Hey, fifth grade, here's your worksheet lesson version for the day, page 77 and 78. This is all, the front page is all multiplying by fractions, and you know what to do here. It's just for the sake of touching base and, um, you know, just practicing. So, number one, of all of the cookies in a cookie jar, four-fifths are oatmeal. Of all of the oatmeal cookies, two-thirds of them have nuts. What fraction of all the cookies are oatmeal with nuts? So, you've got four-fifths of two-thirds or two-thirds of four-fifths, it ends up being the same thing by the way you write it, right? I don't believe we can cross-cancel it all here. So it looks like we've got eight-fifteenths, and it would be eight-fifteenths of the cookies. Number two, the dimensions of a patch are shown. What is the area of the patch? So again, you know how to do this. Um, the area, you multiply it, length times width or base times height, depending on how you want to say it. One third times three fifths. I'm going to cross cancel, divide by three, divide by three. We end up with one fifth. I think they give us a line. Yeah, I'm going to scroll down, sorry. Um, down here, we've got one fifth of a square foot or foot squared. Okay. I highly encourage you to pause the video and solve numbers three through six, so six, <laughs> thinking in fraction terms here. Um, so anyway, the rest of the page, because I know you're capable and it's just really good practice. Okay. Okay, you know my druthers here, you can multiply across and simplify. I like to simplify at the forefront. Um, by cross canceling, divide by seven, divide by seven, we are left with five eighths. And here, nine and five, you can't simplify them. Two and six, divide by two, that's a one, divide by two, that's a three. We've got five twenty sevenths. And here, it looks like I can cross cancel my four and eight, divide by four, that's a two, that's a one. We get six elevenths. Number six, a large sandwich at a store is 10 twelfths of a foot long. A small is three fourths the size. What is the length in feet of a small sandwich? So you have three fourths of 11 twelfths. Whichever way you write it, you've still got the same opportunities to cross cancel. Divide by three, that's a one. Divide by three, that's a four. And it looks like 11 sixteenths. What is the length in feet? 11 sixteenths of a foot is the small sandwich. Okay, page 78. I want you to pause this and, and then just check your answer after each question. Because um, this is all review, the test prep, the spiral review. It's so much review that I know you can do it. Um, anyway, all right. Matilda has a marble that's one sixth of an ounce. Another one is the same size but has a chip in it. She weighs the chipped marble and finds that it's three fourths of the amount of the unchipped marble. How much does the chipped marble weigh? So one sixth of three fourths. They, I think, are silly and don't simplify. So one times three is three, six times four is 24. Here we go. Yep, simplify it though, it would. It would be one eighth of an ounce. They just didn't simplify. Okay, the vegetable one, two thirds are green of all of them. Seven eighths are ready to be picked. So most of them, what fraction is green and ready for picking? So we've got two thirds and seven eighths. And you can get 14 over 24. I personally, as you know, I like to cross cancel right away, divide by two, divide by two, and we end up with seven wealths. Um, let's see here. So as far as a label, seven twelfths of the vegetables ready to be picked. A rectangle has dimensions of seven tenths of a meter and three fifths of a meter. You want to find the area of the rectangle. If you use an area model to help you, which statements are true? Okay. So for this type of problem, I like to just do my multiplying. So um, I don't know that we can cross cancel at all. We'll figure out um, seven times three is 21, 10 times five is 50. So it's 21 out of 50. 
Um, there will be a total of 21 small rectangles. So the denominator shows your total. The numerator shows like how many out of that total uh, that you're like setting aside, if you will. Um, there will be a total of 50 smaller rectangles. So one of these is true, one of these is false. I just kind of gave it away. The denominator is the total, okay? Um, then these next two, um, one of them is true, one of them is false. 21 of the smaller rectangles will be shaded twice. 50 of the smaller rectangles will be shaded twice. Well, 50 is the whole thing. That's, that won't be shaded twice, or that would be the whole thing. So that 21 out of 50 is what would be shaded twice when you go across and you go up and down. Um, and again, you don't have to draw this out as a model. It's, I mean, it's a nice visual, but I just like to use them as learning aids and not like a recommend or a required thing with our worksheets. And you know that. Um, let's see, letter E. The area will be 10 fifteenths of a square meter. Nope, we've got 21 fiftieths of a square meter. That one gets a little tricky with the wording. Number 10, Alfonso multiplies 5 twelfths and another fraction. If the product is 15 over 48, what is the other fraction? Well, this is a bit different than one we've done before. So we've got 5 twelfths times an unknown equals 15 out of 48. Okay, so fill in the blanks here. 5 times what gives you 15? 5 times 3? 12 times what gives you 48? 4. So what's the other fraction? Three fourths. Okay, eleven and twelve down here. Um, so add. Here's the thing: we've got parentheses, but the associative property tells us that even though there are parentheses around this section, because these have the same denominators, we can simplify it and add those together first. So we have six plus two is eight. 5 plus 3 is 8, and we're talking about 8s. Well, that is a lot of 8s. <laughs> so you've got 8 whole and another 8 eighths. Well, 8 out of 8 is 1 whole, so it's really 8 plus another whole, or 9. So this all together is 9. We still have to add 1 and 4 twelfths. 9 plus 1 is 10. 4 out of 12, you can simplify that, divide by 4. That's 1. 12 divided by 4 is a 3. So add it all together and then simplify that last fraction. 10 and one third. Evaluate the numerical expression. Parentheses here, 33 minus eight. We've got 25 times nine minus six is three. I love when we get to count by 25s because it's just like counting quarters. 25, 50, 75, a dollar or 100, right? Um, 25 times three, 25, 50, 75. And you did it. Good work.